let's talk about <laughs> we've, we've not had of this speech but at least we had that sequel speech if the supreme courts should allow this it means that they have um basically supporting identity thefts forgery and there's something else he said Looking back at the Supreme Court position on this, which says this came late, prior to that 26th of October, the Supreme Court, uh, Justice Aguin particularly, who learned in the news, was said there are two letters from Chicago State University, one for and one against. So which one should we use? And we're asking as a judge, this, uh, as a judge you ought to say, this, make a demand or remove this and not to start asking the petitioners for instance or the defendant this which one should we use then the next day they came up with this ruling and uh, basically didn't cons consign themselves with the uh, revelations coming from chicago state university now this is article's position what do you think we should be making of this well first just as i said as far back as uh, uh me mm -hmm. uh, as i've said much earlier if, in february I said that uh, the laws in Nigeria were such that having declared a candidate, in this case uh, the president, sitting president, that he, the chances of him uh, winning at the tribunal was almost 100% or 100%. And that even when the tribunal did give their verdict, I still emphasized that he was more likely to give, to get the verdict at the Supreme Court. So there is no surprise for me in all this. Uh, Please, let me say it again. The article, Abu Bakr is not a lawyer, so he doesn't understand how the legal system works in this country. I, I don't want to say some of the things I said earlier, but I think that in future, he should research well when choosing his legal team. Ditto for Peter Obi, so that uh, people don't start assuming that just because you are uh, a, 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 a legal practitioner, you, you are looking at all aspects of the matter. There are many aspects. Needless to say, the certificate issue he's talking about were issues that they should have done much earlier. Did not do. And then we are counting on the discretion of the Supreme Court to put it into evidence. For which the Supreme Court exercised their discretion and decided not to put it into evidence. These are issues that, if I, I dare say, should have been even pre-election matters even post pre pre they should have been, been pre election not even pre election petition you know, there are two different things. pre election means you could have settled settled all these things before even we had the election so that we would have taken steps to know who is qualified or who is not qualified you know to contest elections in this country however i also hear him talk too much about academic qualifications i don't understand if um, the former vice president article understands that the Nigerian constitution does not require degrees from anybody. As it is, it, in the it is amazing to me when I see politicians carrying degrees up and down and saying they went to this school. They did. This constitution is talking about, I think, is it primary school certificate or its equivalent? And here you are talking about big degrees. Okay, so are you? Is sorry, it trying sorry, to sorry, tell sorry, us sorry, that sorry, the president sorry. does not have the equivalent of? Primary or is it? You, you see, that is where that's the cross of the matter yeah. here. The president, having been an elected official yeah. in Nigeria yeah. for more than two times, beyond being a governor, he was also one time a senator. Senator, yes. Should know better yeah. that he doesn't need this Chicago State University to to. In no, but he, in all these elections, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. In all these uh, offices, yeah. his certificates have always sailed through. That's why he was able to contest and stay. No, we're saying the same thing. Yeah. But right now, you understand? Mm. Yeah. 1999 is not 2003. No, it's, it's not see, it's, Sorry, sorry. Let me also educate you on that. Yeah, What's the matter? Finish? Sorry, can let me finish. Can I finish? I, don't, I will not allow you to finish because but you are, I'm, the, I'm the host. Okay, you, you can host. speak. You okay, can speak host. for only that. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you have, in 1999, yeah. we didn't have the level of access to information we had now yeah. in terms of the internet and the key players. Yes. Even if there were there was a Ghani Fire Me then, he didn't have access to do certain things that he would have had if in, in 2023. Yes. Now you use the a certificate in 2020 in 1999, yes. you sailed through. You became a senator with that same certification, it's sailed through. And in 2023, 
you had an issue with it in 1990 and you didn't bother to say okay let me because atiku is saying this because there is a university certification linked to chicago state university that the position has been carried out in the u.s which the president presented so when you talk about atiku talking about issue of certificate that's the point that's no the atiku is ignorant he's legally ignorant he doesn't understand look let me under explain to you there is a settled hierarchy of courts in nigeria and there is an appellate system that is equally settled. There is no room for leapfrogging. The legal expression is leapfrogging, not allowed in our legal system. In 1999, just to put you through, these issues came up and it was decided. Meaning that once a court, an appellate court, decides on a matter, I dare say if in this case it is the highest court, the size of the matter, it is an issue of res judicata per rem judicatum. That's the Latin doctrine, the legal maxim that guides this situation. Means, meaning that you can no longer bring it up. I was even alarmed when I heard some of these issues being brought up again. You can't. But more seriously, now if that person submits an additional certificate, let's assume that this is an additional certificate this time around. And maybe it was not even the ones, uh, 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 if you like call it, uh, he presented the other time then you have to bear in mind that the legal navigation you will use must place emphasis on aspects of it look mr Atiku is talking as if there have never been any qualification that say true for this sitting president that's not true you just said it that he has said public offices you must understand that the legal navigation that will be used it's not the emphasis on the fact that he got an additional qualification that is not right. That's not the emphasis. And even the Chicago, Chicago State University, there were conflicting uh, 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 signals from them. On one hand, they say he graduated from their school. Then, there was also the issue of the qualification he used, the quali qualifying certificates he used to gain that admission. All these are issues that should have even been dealt with much earlier before even the election or even the course of the election before it came to the supreme court it's a supreme court issue and it's their discretion they did the right thing in deciding on whether they wanted to allow it or not to allow it, it was their discretion 